time now for the game preview presented by Ticketmaster, a game review edition here with head coach Kevin Stefanski. Kevin, let's go back because it's been a while since we talked to you. Short week. Houston Texans, though. Mm. You guys went on the road. What went into that? You finally got that going there. Yeah, it was important for us to go win on the road, Cam, going into that one. We, we knew that it was going to be a tough game versus an AFC opponent atop the leaderboard in their division. Uh, so we knew it was going to be difficult, but I thought the guys came ready to play with the right attitude, the right mentality that uh, we had to go play our best football. The big standout moment from that was Amari Cooper's historic night. What was that like to witness him continue to just get those yards, get those catches, and have that connection with Joe Flacco? Yeah, pretty incredible individual effort. Obviously, that was one for the record books, and just to see – the variety of routes that he ran in that game. Uh, he really put all of it on display. Uh, some quick ones, some deep ones, some things across the middle. Uh, you just saw what type of player Amari is and he put it on display. That energy from that road game, did that translate here? Thursday night football against the Jets? It always does. And I, I think what you try to do when you're stacking wins is you're trying to take all those things that worked for you and, and build off of them. And I thought there were things in the Houston game that, that we felt like we could build on. I thought we did going into the Jets game as well. All right, Jets game. Big crowd. You said you wanted them to be electric. How did the fans do? Uh, job well done. Yeah, they, they passed the test. They were outstanding, uh, which is no surprise to me. They've been so good all season long. Uh, we, we do feed off that energy, uh, whether they're on the road with us where they were down in Houston or they're in our place where the place is packed. Uh, I just speaking for myself, for our players, we're so appreciative of how they brought it every single time we're down there. It's nothing new for you guys overcoming injuries, but Amari Cooper, after that historic night in Houston, ruled out for the Jets game. How were you guys able to rally around the loss of yet another key player? Yeah, disappointed that Amari couldn't go. He tried like crazy but couldn't make it. Uh, I give a ton of credit to the players and the coaches. You know, Coach O'Shea, Coach Van Pelt, they had a plan if Amari hadn't been able to go and very quickly got Elijah up to speed playing that role. So uh, Elijah, I can't say enough about him from preparing to play multiple positions. It sounds easy, it's not. Uh, so he goes into a game having to be ready to play all of them and two hours before the game, hey, you're playing this one. And so he, he was up to speed like all those wide receivers were uh, and really proud of how they came through. How was, how was Elijah doing? He's better. He's better. Uh, those are always scary moments. Uh, none of us like to see that, but uh, thank God he's doing better. Now, that game, you talk about the electric crowd. Joe Flacco helping to get that energy going. This is fourth straight game with over 300 passing yards. What can you say about him? He's doing a great job. I mean, Joe's a, a veteran, so he fits in really well uh, to our group and, and just how he is in the building. Uh, the guys really feed off of uh, his experience. And I think what you're seeing in these games is, is he's letting the game come to him. He's making some great individual plays, obviously, uh, but he's really doing a nice job of taking what's there as well. What did you like from your defense against the Jets? I mean, they were harassing that, that offense the entire game, and uh, there are certain things I know Coach Schwartz wants us to do better, but, man, we were getting after the passer, we were stopping the run, uh, and then late in the game, they were able to come away with a victory. Miles Garrett, able to snap that, that streak with no sacks. What does that say about what he's able to do, not just when he gets those sacks, but when he's able to actually you know, get in there and, and get the quarterback down? Yeah, he's, uh, you know, sometimes those sacks – uh, come in bunches, and, and, but he pressures the quarterback. He harasses the quarterback. He stops the run. So uh, while I'm happy he got the sack, I also know this. He's playing at a high, high level uh, in all areas of the game. Special teams, you had a new unit out there. Mm -hmm. Dustin Hopkins, Corey Bajorquez out. How would you feel about the guys that stepped in? Yeah, the new guys did well. Uh, really proud of those guys. That, that's a tough spot to be put in. Uh, but they very quickly got up to speed with each other. Think about that field goal operation. You got a long snapper, a holder, a kicker. All those guys have to get up to speed. And I thought they did that on a short week. And uh, I thought they were good in, in their roles. So proud of those guys. Talk about 1-0 every week. But that game obviously had the implications that it did, clinching the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Was that something that you let your guys – talk about? Was that something you let them feel? For sure. And they know that. And they knew that winning that game earns you that second season. So we knew how important that w was. Uh, but when you walk into the stadium, you really have to narrow your focus. And, and that's what we talked about, just doing your job uh, from minute one to minute 60. In that locker room afterwards, it wasn't a lot of giant celebrations that maybe you would expect. What was that about? You know, we're, we're proud of, of getting that, that ticket punch for the postseason, but uh, all of our goals are still in front of us. So we have a lot of work left to do. Uh, we have a big one coming up this weekend. Uh, and we'll, we'll figure out the rest uh, later. But for us, uh, it was a, you know, we got our job done, but there's more to come. The key word I think every player has used this season has been resiliency. What makes this team so resilient and how have you seen that these, even just these past two weeks? 
I just think these guys fight for each other, and that was something we talked about going into the, this last game is, is having each other's back. And uh, there's always going to be moments throughout a season where somebody's going to need to be picked up or somebody's going to need to be maybe pushed or pulled, whatever it is. And, and I think they've done that uh, as great teammates. And, and I think when you're in these NFL seasons where you don't know what's coming around the corner, uh, you have to be able to navigate those type of things, and that's a credit to the players. Do you think that can carry over with the playoffs in sight now? You, you locked it in, you got a postseason. Can that resiliency help get you guys going? Yeah, you hope so. And that's really, you are what, what you, you are you, who you are uh, from a culture standpoint. You are your players. And I like the guys that we have. Uh, I think they have the right mindset. All right, thanks so much, Coach, and congrats on all the wins. Thanks, Cam.